Hello everyone, this is Malachi Ranch here, here with the next video on, don't even need to say who it is, you saw, and you know who it is by now, but um, yeah, more Rosina head shit. Now, yet again, no new information has come out, but um, yeah, now um, you may find the title to be really interesting, and here, I'll explain it, so... As usual, um, I don't really think the situation has ended. I, I don't know when it's going to end. Um, I, I don't think there is going to be a definitive way on how it's going to end. But I was, again, I've been thinking about the situation with Rosina a lot. Which, I mean, to be frank, I, it's kind of hard not to. But, um, yeah, I was also examining another situation that has not, in, not directly involved me, thank God. But... I was examining another situation, and I was also thinking about this one, and the, the, the thing kind of striked me a little bit, and how many things Rosina has done in a situation that are pretty similar, if not directly the same as what R. Kelly has done. Now, I think you may find that really fucking wild, and be like, uh, why do you say this, but... I don't know, like, the way that they've both acted is a lot more similar than you would think. So, yeah, I'm going to try my best to explain why I hold this position, and will also actually give evidence to support this, not only with the screenshots, but I'm also going to be using the uh, Dale Teen interview with R. Kelly. Hopefully this doesn't get, like, a copyright claim or anything, but, again, like, a lot of the stuff that is mimicked is in that interview, so... Yeah, what exactly have R. Kelly and Rosina done that have been pretty similar? Well, it's not exactly the actions that they've done. Again, that's more so a kind of a little bit more of um, a compliment to Rosina that the stuff that she's done in regards to the actions may not be completely as raw as R. Kelly, or not to the extreme, that's more so. Because, again, like, I, I can't go into her mind and, like, gain all the knowledge of what she's done, but I would also like to explain some of it, so... What are the similarities between Rosina Head and Rob, Robert Kelly, or R. Kelly? Well, when it comes to the way that they've handled their accusers... Well, actually, let's actually talk about the accusers first. So, something I would like to address about the uh, video specifically telling the stories of the people who have been directly involved with Rosina, uh, her schoolmate, another person, and the one that she was friends with at some point. Something I've really noticed is that... Well, when it comes to the accusations, Rosina has n like I don't even think she's really directly addressed any of them. Well, okay, there was like she's kind of addressed one of them specifically the whole like fudge secret show stuff, but she's never directly like denounced doing it. But she actually said that it was in her past, which yes, that is a really that is a defense technically, but. It's not denouncing anything, like, that's basically a backhand admission of guilt. But you can't, but you know, like, if she acknowledged that that was wrong, then she would actually have to take accountability for something, which, as most of us know, the only thing she likes more than Sora and Fudge is not taking accountability for her actions. And, you know what, when I was also watching that R. Kelly interview, he did the exact same thing, so, yeah, we're gonna be playing clips from that interview, and, um... Yeah, here's the point where he was using the It's My Past defense as a, well, defense for what he has done. I'm in the not all, okay? But they also didn't say when you're R. Kelly, okay, and you're famous and your name is ringing 25 million times a day all over the world, okay, of people trying to get money from you, okay, and they're using your past, they're using the past allegations, the past case that he beat to link it on to that, okay, they're using that. So, um, yeah, that's not the only thing that they've done that is pretty similar. Another thing that they've done is just, well, I said it in the first one, but they haven't really denounced anything. Like, well, okay, t <laughs> R. Kelly is technically, and, well, okay, it's not, it's not verbal and that's the thing. It's with the body language, like, and, I mean, he got convicted and proven of the stuff that he's done, so... Yeah, okay, uh, let's, uh... Well, okay, uh, the body language part, I don't know if I really say they completely have in common, but... 
again, it's really where it, what they do have in common, though, is really, like, saying that the accusations are false while giving signs that they aren't. Now, I am going to bring up this 3FM person again, but it's specifically in regards to, well, the one person that has been skeptical of the previous videos that I've done. So, what they have said in the, I think it was on the, uh, I have a question video, which was related to the situation, um, not exactly reporting on evidence, just asking that question, and one thing they brought up was that the evidence that I brought up in the video, I, I didn't full-on prove everything, and they said that they could be lying about this stuff, which, listen, I understand skepticism, but I would also like to bring up this defense about them, so... Okay, now it's not like... Now, okay, I'm also preparing this Star Kelly, by the way. Now, while it's only been three people, as opposed to 50, why exactly would so many people be bringing up pretty similar stuff? Like, again, like, if there were this many people saying the exact same thing about Rosina, I mean, one of them said she was a narcissist, another person said she was a narcissist, a third person said she was a narcissist, I said she was a narcissist... And there are more people that also have said that she's a narcissist. Like, why would we all, like, why would they all collectively, like, again, it's hard to, like, I'm just saying they're, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to put this, but, again, if there's this many people saying the same things, and, again, like, the fudge thing, that, which, I mean, granted, that's not, like, they they also said that the, they fudged stuff with skeptical, they were skeptical about the fudge obsession, but, I mean, again, like, we've, like, two people also have brought up that the fudge thing has been, well, again, uh, and more so a sexual desire than just a normal, like, more than a normal interest in fudge, so, again, and another thing I think we should also, br I should also bring up is that, again, she hasn't, she hasn't denied a single thing, or not only has she not denied anything, but she's also straight up like, dodged accusations, like, again, the only things, the times that she's tried to debunk my claims are when it's something where she thinks she can use her past as a defense, like, and again, that's not even denouncing anything, that's just saying, oh, that was in my past, I don't do that anymore, so, like, again, maybe the, like, the evidence wasn't in broad daylight, and they did also say to take their evidence, the things that they said with the pinch of salt, but, I mean, if she's dodging so many accusations and even straight up admitting to some of them, there, like, there's got to be a shred of truth behind this. Like, like, I'm not, like, again, maybe it doesn't, like, the evidence doesn't completely prove everything necessarily, but, I mean, we can inductively reason, and we can inductively look at the evidence and what she's done to try and respond to it, to, well, jump, well, to, not to jump to the conclusion, but to make it, because... Again, like, she's cried from the freaking rooftops that I'm just slandering her and that this is defamation. But, again, as you can see, she hasn't really proven anything. Or she hasn't... Well, okay, I don't know why I threw really in there. Like, she hasn't proven a single thing of these to be wrong. And, or nor has it been defamation. Because, like, if this is defamation, then, like, come and freaking sue me. And I'm being serious. Because, I, like, I've gotten a couple of fake accounts saying that they're trying to file this as a lawsuit. But, again... You haven't proven anything to be slander or false or anything, so... And again, you, you've dodged them, but... Again, that's also what R. Kelly has done in the R, in the Dale, Dale Keen interview, which I will actually link in the description, because it's... Again, <laughs> I would have to show the whole interview to show this, but... Like, also, she... I mean, he has shouted over her in the interview several times, and again, she's, he's dodged several accusations in that... Like, when she asked R. Kelly, are all these people lying on you? Instead of answering the yes or no question, he, again, like, <laughs> like pivoted away from it, which is also what Rosina has done. And, you know, again, I will show the uh, video clip of him doing that, because, again, with this one, I don't have to show everything. So, yeah, here is that clip in question. The six-part series interviewed 50 people. Mm-hmm. Family members, your former tour manager, numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Yeah. Are you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? Gail King asks a very specific question. It's a yes or a no. Listen to what he says and how he says it. If 
if if you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have. I have. R. Kelly starts out with an out of character stutter, which indicates nervousness and apprehension, very typical of lying. And then notice what he says. Everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. Mm -hmm. They was describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. He doesn't directly answer the question, but he gives this indirect roundabout answer. Throughout this interview, we'll notice him diverting and avoiding directly answering questions. And another thing I would like to say is, you know, now again, I may not have said, I may have said that she hasn't exactly, at least in proven anyway, done everything that R. Kelly has been accused of. Like, there's definitely not a fight on my like, sex trafficking ring. Or any of that stuff. And when it comes to the abuse thing, like, well, R. Kelly has been accused several times of being emotionally and physically abusive as well. Like, specifically with emotionally and mentally. Rosina has been very mentally abusive and to several people. And again, I would like to specifically bring up myself in this. Again, I don't know, like, okay, I, I know not everyone views mental abuse in the same way that I do, but I don't think we all have to. Um, yeah, I, I think it would be safe to say that, well, not just safe to say, but when Rosina did the whole, um, can't you be more positive thing in our argument, like, well, okay, it's one-sided, because I didn't really try to argue with much of the stuff she said. I was, listen, I was just basically lying down and taking it. I'm just going to be honest there. I was letting her freaking do it but okay i'm okay let me try to again recollect my thoughts so i take the can't you be more positive thing and the whole forcing positivity thing again that really hurt me mentally and private even worked for a little bit and listen again let's just state this again you should not focus on just being positive all the time because that is pink clouding and if you don't know what pink clouding is it's forcing yourself to be overly positive without admitting or without acknowledging the traumas that caused you to be upset in the first place, leading you to a mental state that is worse than the one you had before. That is what Rosina has tried doing. And if you've noticed her language in a lot of this about the candy being more positive thing, she said that I've just been negative all the time and that me and also Crimson St. Flair, which I don't know if she's going to, or they, okay, but again, you gotta get the pronouns right. They, like, Rosina has targeted both of us, saying that we need to stop focusing too much on the negative things, and by too much, I'm using that in quotation marks, because, well, she views any uh, venting out feelings as also just that, well, okay. Again, like, negative things are obviously bad, but you gotta focus on the problems that you're having if you want to improve them. And also, this is where the controlling part comes in, because R. Kelly has been accused of being controlling too, and is controlling. That's what Rosina did. And you know what? She did that in the response video, actually. So particularly in when she was focusing on my Facebook post, saying that I need to, where am I, how are people supposed to know about these problems if no one knows about them? She was very begrudgingly, I don't know if that's even the correct term, but... She was saying, have a vent channel on Discord, implying that that's the only place where she finds it acceptable for you to vent. If it's anywhere else, then she'll basically verbally harass you to stop doing that. Which, looking back, makes you think more mad now than I first saw my message. Who tries to guilt people for talking about their personal issues in their videos? How else are you supposed to get help if no one knows about it? Dude, just have a vent channel on Discord. When... Again, that's another thing, um, why exactly does it have to be just in the vent channels in Discord? That, like, that's a serious question I have, like, why are we only, why are people only allowed to vent out their negative feelings on a Discord channel? Like, you know, not everyone has Discord, right? Like, yeah, I have Discord, but <laughs> I'm, I don't represent everybody. Again, you, you need places where you can vent about your problems, not just in Discord, but on... YouTube, whether it be your community tab, or your videos, or when you're texting people, or, you know, when you're in therapy, that's another place where you can do that. Again, like, she is really controlling, and, again, that's what R. Kelly was doing, too, because, again, if you notice, if you look into the R. Kelly situation, he forced several women, like, he was being, like, controlling them in the sense 
uh, like everything that they do, he would force them to do. And yeah, anyways, um, okay, I'm I'm tr I'm trying to recollect. I'm trying to think of all this stuff. Oh yeah, they're. I mean, they're also both narcissists, like pretty fucking huge narcissists. And I think it would be safe to say that um. Well, okay, I need to stop thinking with, I think it would be safe to say, I, again, I have a problem with that, but, um, yeah, I just think they both have an indifference to human suffering, like, that, that's just, I, I, I think, I, I think that's, I think that's pretty accurate, uh, they both really don't care what they do to people, like, if, like, if what other people are doing is just an inconvenience to them, they'll just, just really do anything to them, like, R. Kelly, you, you, again, He's done a lot of really despicable shit, but Rosina, like, if you, like, if you, like, again, when it comes to pretty much anyone, to be honest, and this has been detailed in the previous videos I've done, too, that specifically talked about the stories, she'll send her friends, again, I'm using that in quotation marks, because, I, like, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't really think she views them as friends, like, she doesn't really view anyone as her friend, like, she only says you're her friend when you... Like, un don't oppose anything she says, because, again, if anyone has a problem with what she's done whatsoever, and I'm being, again, serious with this, she'll either do a couple things. One, she'll do what she did to me, and tell me to be more positive and stop being so negative, which, again, that really did take a more of a toll on me than you thought, it w than you'd think it would, but, again, pink clouding is not something you should do, and... Okay, I'm, I'm, sorry, dude, I'm trying to, this. and I mean, she's also just sent several people to attach everyone that she opposes, or oppose, or says that she's done wrong here, because listen, not everyone's out to get Rosina, a lot of us were just, a lot of people are just trying to help you, or trying to help her, and say that she needs to fit some things, and, I mean, again, maybe the way that I made my video wasn't really that great, but, Again, I was just trying to help you, Rosina. Like, I wasn't trying to attack- I wasn't trying to, like, bring you down in that video. I- I was just trying to think- I was just trying to tell you some things that you should improve, and... Freaking- Like, I was trying to help you, and freaking spat in my face, and... <laughs> I did, I- I- I'm- I'm- I don't- I don't know what to really say at this point, like... Again, I, I thought she was a decent person at first, and just, <laughs> like, I, I just wanted to, like, I just wanted her to improve her problems, but she just had to go and do <laughs> fucking everything, and, Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to... Okay, I, 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 I think I could uh, close the video out here. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry that I didn't explain everything the best, it's just... Again, I, I wish that this freaking situation didn't have to end up in this way, but it did. Like, she... I, like, several of us have just tried to tell her that she needs to fucking fix her problems, and that she does have them, but... She can't, she can't freaking listen to anyone, because in her mind, she's just perfect, and she has no problems, and again, about this whole harassment thing, again, I haven't been harassing you, Rosina, I, I haven't told anyone to freaking attack you in any of my, vi in any of my videos, I haven't, like, I'm pretty sure I've explicitly said it before, or, okay, I don't know if I have said it, but, again, I haven't told anyone to attack you, which is exactly what you've done. You send several of your friends to not only attack me over my videos, but you've also sent them to attack the people that I've talked about in my videos. And the one telling your story. First it was the classmate who you, which I'm pretty sure you harassed them off of YouTube and was forced to take, and was forced to take down your video by the school, which again, again, they, they may have said to take it with a pinch of salt, but, they have, but she hasn't directly addressed that, so again, I don't... <laughs> I don't freaking know. And then there was the third person who I told the story of, who they were trying to, again, at first were trying to help you, but you said that if they keep saying that stuff about you, then you're just going to ban them from everywhere, which, again, okay, I'm sorry, I, I can't freaking speak right now, so, again, I'm sorry if this video didn't turn out in the exact way that I wanted it to, but, like, especially 
what happened earlier, but I didn't. The situation is just really, really sad. But okay, that's all I had to say. See you people later.